Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we will talk about Xiaomi Smart Pen Generation 2 that is compatible with Xiaomi Pad 6 tablet which I'm currently using. This tablet is such a good device especially for the students and it comes with low budget so it makes it even more suitable for the students. I spent almost 33,000 rupees that is equivalent to $442 on this tablet plus pen plus its screen guard and plus the cover. Battery is going to last you whole day and it charges fast so that's a plus. Screen size and the aspect ratio is also good for example if you watch videos on YouTube then the video is going to fit perfectly on the screen. And after the last software update we have another feature that is write to text means if you write something it is going to convert that handwriting into text format. So now if you go into browser and write something it is going to convert it into text fill it into the text bar and you can search it so it is such a good touch to the tablet and pen combo. And don't you worry if your handwriting is not as good, it picks up bad handwriting too quite well. While you are watching this demo let me add some comps about the tablet as well. This tablet does not have any SIM slot or uh, SD memory card slot or 3mm jack so all you get is one thunderbolt uh, charger slot and that's all. You can use Bluetooth headphones though. Now coming back, so this write to text feature works well in Google Keeps. Uh, it's a not taking app from Google. It's just an example. This feature works well in almost all the apps, except one app that is the one not not taking app, and that's the only app that I use for not taking. So that's a shame. <laughs> I tried everything in my power to make this feature work in OneNote app as well but somehow it does not. It just scrolls the screen and that's all. If anyone knows in the audience please let me know in the comments. This write to text feature comes with some uh, shortcuts to make the experience more seamless like this like you can scratch on the word to delete the word. You can select the word by circling over it, then you can cut, copy or do uh, whatever with it. If you want to insert more text in between the already written text then yes this upper arrow you can use and add more text. You can join or separate the word. Just draw this vertical line if the word is already separated it will join them if the word is joined it will separate them to enter next line you have to draw this L like sign and it will uh, put the text into the next line it's time to address the biggest problem with the pen that is the palm rejection and it does not work quite well they have tried to make it work but somehow it just not up to the mark how this palm rejection works is if your nib is touching the screen then your finger touch is disabled you can't do anything also if your pen nib is not touching the screen but it is in the proximity of the screen almost about 1 to 1.5 centimeters your finger touch is not going to work at all but the moment it goes above that proximity your finger touch will work so that's where the problem is when you are writing you are not always just hovering your pen tip on to the screen it might go a little bit above and the moment it does so your palm is going to leave a patch on the notes or the drawing if you are doing to get rid of all this I use this glove and it works quite well or you can see if there is any only pen setting in your app so that only pen is able to draw and not the fingers that is also one solution to this this pen comes with two buttons these buttons are customizable on the app level 
If I click on the first button, it switches from the pan mode to the eraser mode and back to the pan mode. And the second button opens the color palette for me. So yes. And why I'm able to do this? Because this app on which I'm drawing is having these options to um, customize the functionality of the two buttons. Now coming on the tablet level, the functionality of these two buttons is quite hard coded. So if you click on the first button and then you uh, tap the pen on the screen, it will open the notepad. If you click on the second button and then you tap the screen, it will take the screenshot for you. So that's quite it. This functionality is not customizable. It's hard coded in the tablet. So yes, that's one uh, issue. Uh, not the issue but like yes it could have been better if this functionality uh, was customizable so if you see uh, you can only write from the first button and this take screenshot from the second another good feature is their split screen so if you're a student and you want to watch video and take notes at the same time so that's a good feature out of topic but it's mic is also good because whatever you're listening it's coming from this tablet's microphone and I edit my videos on this tablet itself so its performance is also okay it's good and please keep in mind that this tablet that I'm showing you all the demos from is 8 GB RAM and 256 GB ROM so 4GB version may not work as smooth as you are seeing here. So I am not vouching for that but yes this one is quite good. The 8GB version is quite good. If you see I am struggling to drop this image from storage to my notes. It's because the folder that I am in is recent one. So it only shows the pictures or files that are opened recently. So make sure you are inside the correct folder where your images are uh, saved then you can easily drag and drop into the notepad. Now coming to the reading experience again it is good because of the screen size you can easily see the text because the text also uh, appears bigger. But the moment you switch the screen into vertical view the text size becomes smaller but still you are able to read easily because the size is quite equivalent to the hardcover books so that gives you an idea writing of the pen again very nice my only problem with the pen is the poor palm rejection and the cost it is quite expensive especially if you keep in mind the features that it comes with its price should have been the half of what it is now then it could have been a great choice it is it still is with the tablet because it is compatible and it works well with it if you are going to use this tablet especially for handwritten notes or drawing purpose where pen plays a vital role i would strongly suggest you to buy the same pen this pen might seem expensive but once it is paired with the tablet the total cost is still less than some other alternative uh, devices so the tablet itself comes cheaper so if you buy a little expensive pen together they are still a good choice if you talk about the apple pencil this pen is nowhere near but it is half the price so it makes it a good choice if we talk about the third party pens then it is double the price and it actually serves a lot more than those third party pens so it's a middle ground you can buy it now this review was supposed to be targeting students but i'm playing games because some of the comments were asking me to play games on this tablet so experience is okay it's not as good as some high-end uh, gamer phones but yes experience is still good like you can actually play games and enjoy uh, it does hang 
uh, sometimes especially while loading the game but while playing i don't see any lags you can see by yourself and be the judge of it and don't judge my gaming skills i am playing with bots because i don't usually play these games so i'm a carrom board and ludo girl so j just don't say anything wrong okay while you're enjoying this pro gamer play this game let me tell you one more bug that i was facing earlier but after the last uh, system update i am not facing it that was a gallery related bug while i was saving any picture it was not getting loaded into gallery instantaneously it was taking some time like um, i have to close the gallery then open again then close the gallery then open again maybe one or two times then the picture was visible in the gallery so that was one bug but now it is not so yes it is out of the question brightness is so good inside the room but the moment you go outside in the bright sun you will feel the need of more brightness also keep in mind there is no sim card sd card and headphone jack slot so yes uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you like this please like and subscribe thank you bye